almost into a barroom brawl, I suppose, at the end of it. Uh, excited the crowd, not exactly according to the rule book of the UCI, but uh, some cracking sprinting. Uh, Jan van Eyden is no straight line. I've seen him in the Kieran's uh, doing the old hooking. What do you think? Eh? I was just going to say, you know what Jan van Eyden's like? You know those little dogs you get? You know they they yap, 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 yap. That's what he's like. Oh, he's yap, 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 yap. And he'd be, he'd be doing the same thing at his ankles here. I'm sure he will. He'd be, he'd be hovering all around that Frenchman. The Frenchman know, won't know which way to go. It's going to be exciting. So the Frenchman's down on the inside. Those the Germans at the top. Of nervous disposition. <laughs> should turn your face to the wall. No, I'm exaggerating. This is... Um, what gets into sprinters, Russ? They come here, you see them concentrate, they get on there. It, it, do, you, do you shut everything out of your head and just say, I'm going to win, and I'm just so focused? You know, what gets them in this sort of... Because when they're off the track, uh, they cool down. They're quite normal blokes, but no, here, You've eh? got to be careful. You can't just get on the track and, and just shut everything off. You've got to be thinking all the time, because you never know how the race is going to go. It's a chess game. You, you know, you've, you've played your pawns, you've played your rook, and now it's queen against queen, and this is where you're going to win. So you've got to be so careful. So at the front, the Frenchman, Laurent Gane. All the way from New Caledonia. Oh, Van Eyder's going for a long one. He could possibly go for a long one. This is surprising. We've still got two laps to go. Is it going to work now? Gane's got to recover. He's got to take his time. He's got to think. Can I bring him back? The, the, little, the little guy, Jan Van Eyder's going, going, going. Laurent Gane. And as he goes through here, then still Van Eyder is in the lead. And Gane's trying to put... A lot of people say to me, can you go for the front? Can you get him? But very often, the man on the front, Darcy Roos, Alice for Alice Steam, and Gane's coming back at him. Van Eyder has been a cheeky little devil here, and he's going to take that first heat. That's really thrown down the gauntlet. That is phenomenal. And everybody here thinks, wacko, we've got a race here. We said earlier on, Van Eyder would pull a few tricks. That's a great trick. Right out of the book are the best tricks. Hey, what did I tell you about the little dog napping at the hills there? That's what he certainly did, that little he dog. He took off like a greyhound. <laughs> Even his legs aren't that big and long. One, so bad, tremendous racing. And the crowd here up on their feet too. A lot of people have come here uh, early on before the Olympics. Uh, there weren't many Sikh souls. Suddenly our lads did well in the Olympics and people say, we'll go and see this cycle. Now, I've met people, Russell, who don't normally watch cycling, but now they're seeing cycling at its best. Yeah, but you know what he's doing, the Frenchman? He's not even looking behind. I mean, how big-headed was he? He was riding the top of the track. He should be looking over his left shoulder. His eyes were just firmly fixed ahead of him. Of course, Van Van Eyden's thinking, hey, if I go now, I've got at least a couple of seconds. And what a move he made. He had to do the hard work, though. Well over two laps. Remember, the track is 250 metres, so what? 600 metres, full on. And here we go. And the good little and beats the good big one. And uh, my goodness, as we had before, this can go to uh, three rounds. That's one up then to Van Eyden. Can Gane square it when they come back on the track for round two? And will it even go to round three? Stay with us to find out. And he jumped up and down like a kid had been let loose in, the, in a sweetie shop or Christmas has come all of a sudden. Russell sprinting. Now we saw this man here uh, at the bottom of the track, uh, Van Eyden, uh, catch uh, Gane napping, didn't he? he? He rushed off down, caught him on the hop and got the first uh, of the heats. This is the second now to stay in the competition. Uh, the reigning world champion, Gane, has got to level the score and beat him on this occasion. Any chance again for Van Eyden, who was a very tricky rider indeed, to pull off one like that? Or was he going to sort of take this one and be more careful about watching what Gane gets up to? What can I say? It's a battle of wits. You've got to have strength. You can take risks. Sometimes you bluff it. But in the end, you've got to kill to win, as we've seen in the other heats. Jan Van Eyden on the front there. What an excellent ride he did in that first, in that first part of the final. He, he took it... And the German had nothing he could do about it. We're going back to Van Eyden. He was fourth in the Kieran at the Olympics and fifth in the sprint. But Gane, the Frenchman, knows what he's got to do. He's going to follow him all the way. So Jan Van Eyden wants to lead it out. Gane has got so much speed, so much top end. He's really got to watch what he does with his gas. So Van Eyden wants to play with him. He's keeping it down low, but Gane's starting to come over the top. Gane's got to put a power and come down on him now. He's got to come down on him. He's got to come down. But Jan Van Eyden's not giving up. 250 minutes ago, Jan Van Eyden is back accelerating away. He's, he's going away. He's not going to give up, but it looks to me like he might be surprised tonight if Van Eyden comes through and gets it. But can Gane come back? And the answer is, no, it goes to Van Eyden. Tried so hard, he couldn't beat him, so in two straight rides, Jan van Eyden has got the goal. Well, he did have uh, the advantage of not racing uh, through because uh, he sat it out when his countryman, uh, Fiedler, had that sore throat and couldn't ride. But we won't take it away from it at all. He's been a brilliant rider all the times we watched him, haven't we, Russell? He's a crafty rider, he takes advantage, he works hard, and my goodness, he's shown now all the work he's put in to get that to gold medal, eh? I put it all down to hard work. 
We had big surprises at the Olympics. There was no surprises here again. Van Eyden rode from the front and won the final 2-0. As we go back to the slow-mo again, the Frenchman tries to surprise him. Remember, we're still two and a half laps out. Jan Van Eyden says, I'm having none of this. I'm going to hold you off. The man on the inside with the Red Bull helmet. Gane from New Caledonia is trying to come over. Look at these guys. Neck and neck and neck. We're coming into a lap to go. The Frenchman's got half a bite. Should he do a left turn and come down? Maybe he's still injured from crashing earlier. No. Van Eyden says, I'm not letting you come through. I'm not letting you come through. He's swinging up. He's trying to hold him. He's trying to hold him. He's got to be careful. He's on that red line. Still going down the back straight. Gane says, oh no, I've got to come again. The German's still down on the inside. Now we're coming into the home straight. The German knows he's got it. He looks under the arms. Yes. All that hard work, all that power training, all those weights. It's in the bag. Wow. Well, I told you Russell gets excited, but he's definitely trying to get rid of that. Now, that was straight, clean sprinting, wasn't it, Russell? Well, he seems to be chopping and chaining him. I'm sorry if you missed the early part of our program, but uh, if you did, and you know a friend who's got a video recording, you want to see some of the sprinting. I think we've seen some of the best sprinting uh, tonight that I've seen for an awful long time. And Gani would be uh, very upset, I think, about the uh, failure uh, to get a medal on this particular occasion. But uh, certainly, he tried very hard indeed, and he, I think he had a few problems in that uh, uh, early season, when uh, early early series when he uh, was batting out with Kiapa. He may have taken the edge off him, but at least Gani now uh, has, uh, has got the silver medal to go with the gold he got. There, there's the big Michael Hubner saying, well done, that's uh, a great gathering of the clans down there. A lot of champions, and one old champion leaks a new one. Going on, at, I think that's Daniel Barr with his back towards us here from uh, France. Let's see if he turns round. I uh, know it wasn't actually, but we're looking back at the new world champion and we'll see him up on the roster, I hope, uh, before we go off here. And amazing, we're only going to have two riders up there, one for the gold, one for the silver, because Kiapa uh, disqualified from the bronze medal position and Jan van Eyden will take the gold medal and the man just behind him, Gany, last year's champion, will take silver. That's the situation, in case you don't get it on your sport uh, later on. Uh, we're finishing rather early and expected, by the way, so um, we'll be going on uh, to some boxing later on after this programme here. And I understand we've got, uh, after that, to Sports Centre, which will bring you all the news from across the world on uh, all the sports as well. And then after that, uh, some tennis coming up uh, with uh, Simon Reid and Prue McMillan. That's uh, from Baal, and that will be on your programme running the way through. And then tomorrow we've got a lot more cycling here on Eurosport, and again on Sunday too. Some cracking action. I think we start to quite early tomorrow. It's uh, uh, 9 o'clock Central European time. Sorry, 9 o'clock.